Hello everybody, it is Magma, and today I'm back from another weekly update. So what do I have for you guys today? And it is something kind of cool that you are going to see. Uh, a lot has changed here, for example, this entire shelf right here um, was actually all this, this entire thing, was spread over this shelf. So uh, I took pretty much everything that was right here, compacted it into one small area. Um, since most of this stuff I don't really ever use it, for example this, uh, and patrol and all, I don't really use that stuff very often, so I just placed everything right there, um, and just squished over some stuff around. So, as you can see, some of the new sets, I've, uh, made, you make space for them. For example, this one right here should be on the stand flying like so, but, yeah. Actually, I'll, I'll just show you guys right now what that looks like when it is on the stand. Wait for it, guys. Almost there. There you go. So, something like this. It should have um, a, a really cool look. So, yeah. And uh, now that I'm looking at this, it's one more reason to not get the brand new Sith Infiltrator. This one just looks so amazing. <laughs> All tiled up and so. So yeah. And so as you can see, I've made some space for the new sets and squished. Or I kind of made space here so that if I ever have more sets, I'll place them, I'll like stack them up kind of here. Um, I added the brand new tie prototype or a tie advanced prototype with the other imperials up there so it kind of looks cool um let me rethink oh right so the mock it's not really a mock or it's never really ever been a mock um as you can see i've just connected all the base plates placed all my green all my sand and all my blue on that on uh, the plates so it looks kind of decent. So now it's a good looking Lego display. So as you can see there isn't that much light right here so I can't really show you as good as I'd like to. So yeah, I think the quality is kind of getting bad. <laughs> so yeah, I, I tried to do something kind of neat. I'm satisfied with what came out, but this is not a mock. To stay clear, this is a Lego display because uh, since I have quite a quite a bit of Lego chic stuff, and I do enjoy displaying my Legos, then um, so yeah, so this is only a display, and it looks much more better, I think. So please give me your opinion in the comment section below. I think that these uh, little plates made something kind of cool. Uh, so. There, found some space for my new B-Wing right next to the old one. Stay tuned for a comparison. Hopefully that will be done at some point. Um, just checking over what I have to cover. There isn't that much. I just wanted to show you guys all the changes. For example, um, since I'm getting into planets lately, I'm trying to get a few nice little mini builds and place them right here. And considering that this Imperial, what is it? Imperial cruiser? No. Imperial assault carrier. Considering it is uh, one to one, or well, it's uh, up to scale with these mini ties under it. I did something kind of neat. Let me try to show you guys. So yeah, so since it's up to scale, I added all the mini sets all around it, so it kind of looks cool. So yeah. So that's really all I have to say for you guys. Um, that hasn't been built yet. That little mini set right there hasn't been built. And last thing that I thought about, oh, there you go, that's what I wanted to show you guys. So uh, last thing I wanted to tell you guys is that the brand new LEGO channel Bespin Bricks is active again. I tried some uh, uh, videos before vacation. I think I did three of them and now I'm back from vacation and um, it's uh, back up 
ready for some brand new videos. I've been working on some stuff. I've done a uh, X-Wing. As you can see, my X-Wing is missing. It's in the studio, so go ahead and check that out. And that is going to be all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time in another weekly update.